I now uh, revise my uh, points that I have spoken in last uh, 10 minutes or so since we began this class. That writing, then visual, then movement, and then audio. These are four different areas. So writing is like this. So which means paper, ink, and a pen, an instrument. So why with this, you create this kind of text. So it, it requires a surface, it requires a mark, maybe ink, and it requires an instrument. Instrument may be developed, underdeveloped, whatever. And then visual, visual that is the uh, mirror image of something. Okay, so you can see me on the screen, but at the same time, you can see my finger moving or my head moving. So this is movement. So one thing is writing, other is my visual, okay, still, another is moving. At the same time, I'm also speaking. So this voice, this is now, therefore, these are different modes of communication. Now, as we write on this page and use ink and pen, similarly, we, when we speak, it is like ink, but this ink is not ink made of chemicals, but this is made of sound. And this ink, which is not ink, but made of sounds, is not written on page, but uses the medium air. So air molecules. So this sound, instead of being written on page, uses the air and it disturbs the air molecules, strikes to that and then the communication happens. Somebody who has ears can listen to it, but not all ears, human ears, or ears that, can, that have a capacity of a particular decibel. So that is also very important. Not all sounds we can hear. There are so many sounds here, but my limitations of sound is different. This is important. And in performance, we use our sound, we use our movement, we use our visual, and we also use text, but we are now speaking that text speech, not writing the text. Therefore, the skills involved in this communication, which is, uh, which, is, which is voice and air and ears, and sometimes you have between air, a mic, so the mic and I, then between two there is air, and then from here, no ears, but internet. Internet, again, no ears, turns them into something else. And then to a device, again, the device has a speaker. So that speaker listens. And that speaker then out gives the output. And that output you listen. So this is also another very complicated and science-based audio communication, which means what I am speaking is picked up by this. So the configuration of this and the configuration of my computer or my uh, audio interface will determine my voice quality. So there will be changes, okay? Depending on what kind of a sound system and what kind of processing unit is being used. And when internet 
bandwidth all of that will also matter and then the receiving unit and the output device which is a speaker at the listener's end will also determine so it is possible that what i am saying here and what is reaching there is entirely different okay so what does that mean that therefore it means that in the modern world now the uh, audio or video you know is a complicated uh, skill that we need to learn but even if we are talking with each other and there is no mic involved we have to learn that why because our postures determine our sound patterns and then our training training of uh, uh say what are we speaking about so is it an anecdote is it uh, a fable is it a drabble is it a vignet is it uh, uh is it a flash fiction you see so the word short story for example may be understood in different kinds of short stories okay we all tell stories every day so it's not something very mysterious it is something that we do it is something that we do every day and uh, most of us these days don't read short stories the reason of which is not that we have started distancing from short stories but in fact we are surrounded with so many stories every day now okay that every time stories are going on around us so we do not have much time to read short stories because there are so many stories in our own life and every time every next 10 years our life is getting more complicated and which means that the stories are getting thicker and thicker so uh this is you know a background of uh, to this uh, entire assignment okay now in this background what is the what is going to be the assignment is that i will i have given you a book and that book has got 40 stories that book has 40 stories and uh, these 40 stories are by 40 top storytellers modern storytellers of western world including uh, some post colonial uh, writers now what is so uh, interesting about that book is that it has been designed in such a manner that it carries the masterpieces and uh, number 2 it has an alternative arrangement of looking at these stories if you look at this book then you'll find there is an alternative arrangement of looking at these stories which means you can find out which story is very good from the perspective of plot which story is very good from the perspective of character or which story is very good from the perspective of environment setting or which story is very good from the perspective of journey that is thematic so these are different ways of looking at those stories okay so our you know our our task is to definitely understand more about characters plots themes but at the same time we will be narrating those stories now these short stories within that book 40 short stories uh may or may not be sufficient for you and these 10 kinds that i am telling you of short story if you would like then we could take up some of them from there for your recording say flash fiction for example there's some new 
Vignet, okay, or say uh, Drabble, okay, or some new forms which are, which are very popular on digital media, okay. So, so our uh, assignment is to read and then to understand and then to think how to create uh, an audio of it. That is a narrative of it. Audio, narration. So I could give you another one example or two examples. Uh, some people reading. Now, this we call reading out or we may call it dramatized reading. So dramatic reading or dramatized reading. Say we will see a drama happening within that story. And while uh, narrating, we are aware that this is the atmosphere area. This is the beginning. This is the conflict. This is the dialogue. This is the central character. This is a minor character. Here you have a pause. Here you have a full stop. Now, how you will use your body with the story? For example, uh, let us say you are sitting and you are using your hands and your neck and your head and your torso in, the, in telling the story in creating the story. It is also possible you may stand up so that your legs are also visible, but that's not necessary. Uh, we, let us say, use our frame uh, till our, say, uh, not full shot, but mid shot, but mid. So let's say we use this, this area. Now, let us say if we don't use the video at all and we are creating only in the audio, even then it is better to record it almost like uh, you are recording for video. Why? Because when you are creating an audio narration of a story, your body and your body postures will affect your narration. So that is where you see the part of performance will come. 